for this misinformation. And join us right now for our continuing series, The Trouble with Textbooks, is professor and author of 48 Liberal Lies About American History that you probably learned in school, Larry Schweiker. Larry, good morning to you once again. Hi, Steve, and no Twittering in my classroom. That, that's good advice. All right, I don't even know how to turn the Twitter machine on. Anyway, Larry, let's talk about a <laughs> let's talk about a textbook that a lot of kids have in this country. It's called Creating America, mm -hmm. and here's what it says. It says the Plymouth Settlement celebrated the blessings of a good harvest by holding a three-day feast. It was the first Thanksgiving, but there are there's a major problem with that, isn't there? <laughs> There's a word missing there, and that would be God. Uh, whose blessings was it that they were giving thanks for? That it's kind of deliberately omitted there. Sure. So why would why would the publisher leave that out? Are they just trying to make it seem as if religion had nothing to do with that? Exactly right. You know, we've seen over the last few weeks at least a dozen of these examples where the textbooks have been uh, omitting uh, the words God, Jesus Christ, Christian. Uh, they will discuss pagan gods, but they won't include anything related to the Judeo-Christian tradition if they can help it. Okay, so for you parents out there who actually have a kid who's using this particular uh, textbook, uh, we've got the people responsible. Michael Lavelle is the publisher from uh, McDonald Littell, which owns Hewton. Mifflin. The address, if you want to write him a letter, 222 Berkeley Street, Boston, Massachusetts, and it's uh, 02116, and the phone number is 617-351-5000, if he wants to call it. And by the way, uh, Jesus Garcia is the co-author of Creating America. All right, now, Larry, we're going to continue. We've got a couple more examples of, uh, you know, these, these are things that when you look at them, you just say, why do they do that and how do they get away with it? More with Larry Schweikert uh, coming up straight ahead on Fox and Friends. Larry, thank you very much. Well, happy birthday to Sally Jesse Raphael. She is the answer today. The winner is Phoebe Long in Camdenton, Missouri. We're going to send her a copy of my book, Tales from the Dad Side. Meanwhile, speaking of books, we're back with the author of 48 Liberal Lies About American History that you probably learned in school, Larry Schweikert. Larry, uh, here's another example. There's a, a lot of kids in this country, uh, particularly high school students, have got the United States, this is rather an eighth grade textbook, called United States History. And in it, when it talks about uh, when Hillary was uh, redoing, trying to redo or produce Hillary Care, as it was so-called, it says Mrs. Clinton wanted to introduce health alliances that would operate through competition, but the complaints were that employers would have to pay most of their employees' insurance costs. All right, now what's the matter with that? The complaints against Hillary Care were almost exclusively that it was going to put the federal government in charge of our health care. And, and the real issue was that it was going to actually fine people for going to a doctor on their own or paying out of their own pocket. So right. it was a huge intrusion on liberty. Uh, like so many of the other things you're bringing to our attention, Larry, this is not history. This is spin. It's pure politics trying to dress up Hillary Care as some sort of uh, uh, beneficent uh, health program. Well, uh, if people, if, if parents have, uh, their kids have got this particular book, here's who's responsible for this textbook. Uh, Will Etheride is the publisher from Pearson Publishing. The address is 1 Lake Street, Upper Saddle Ro River, New Jersey, 07458. If you want to call them, 201. Two six, uh, two three six seven thousand. All right, and Larry. Finally, uh, in the textbook History of the United States, talking about during the George Herbert Walker Bush administration, it says that his policies would hurt Republicans in the fall, uh, and this was around the time of the contract with America. But that didn't happen, and we can see we've already put the false up there. What's the matter with this? Well, the way the book structures the, the text, it's trying to make it look like uh, Republicans were going to be hurt by Bush, and so the whole idea of term limits was put into place because of Republicans. In fact, Contract with America developed term limits to get rid of the Democrats who'd been there forever and, and were kind of gerrymandered into place. You know, every week this drives me nuts because I look at this and you know I, I've got one kid in high school and I'm assuming she's learning the facts but once again Larry this is just clearly a distortion yeah there, there's a ton of spin out there all through the books
All right, uh, and for people who uh, whose kids have got this particular book, once again, uh, same guy as before. Will Etheridge is responsible for publishing this one, and once again, the address is One Lake Street, Upper Saddle River, New Jersey, 0745A. All right, Larry, uh, who needs coffee? You got our blood boiling again this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Steve. All right, we'll see you next week. Meanwhile, we All want right. you parents out there to send us your actual textbooks. If you find inaccuracies in them, here's our address on the screen. And each week, we will continue to pinpoint the exact books that are getting it wrong, filled with what Larry calls spin and distortion as well. And by the way, I have heard Brian and Gretchen from some history teachers who have to teach out of these books, and they say it's driving them nuts.